everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Heather with Rose Hill Paper Cottage and today I am sharing a guest design team project for Sam Pool Design. So that means that I used all of her digitals to create this beauty. Um, I decided to create this gorgeous journal. I just love it. I've named it Winter Garden and I took a hardback book and then I've covered it with this gorgeous velvet and it's darker on screen. It's a little bit more mauve pink um, not so rusty red kind of as it looks. Um, but it's just, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. And, um, I just added this beautiful sari trim to the front and then a, a really simple tag because I kind of wanted to allow you to create with it the way that you wanted to. So I used one of her printables there, that wallpaper, and then that's an old either antique or vintage trim piece. It was from a collar. And I just think all of the colors, they just look so good together. I just, I love how it turned out. And I added a little bell. So I named her Winter Garden because, you know, this could be really incredibly Christmassy or it could just stay more kind of wintry feeling um, with maybe a little bit of a Christmas vibe in it. So, um, so I'm allowing that flexibility in there by just kind of really adding in these beautiful pinks and greens a touch of yellow and I just I think it's so pretty so I added uh, to the front here there's a handmade paper deer there that I used to dye on my handmade paper and there's an envelope on an envelope but on this side there's a tag and then I've used an old piece from a quilt and I added it to this um, I think that's like kind of a mulberry paper a little bit. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but it's a handmade paper. And then there's an authentic receipt there with December. And that's more of her digitals at the background. I'll, put, I'll list all her kits below because I really picked lots of different ones. So that's an authentic envelope with that deer. And so there's a pocket with that envelope, a pocket behind it, and then the envelope behind it. And that's the authentic letter that was inside of it. So I've just tucked it back there and then I made this cute tag with her digitals. I just think it's so pretty. And here is a piece of authentic wallpaper and then I used one of her labels on the front for the Noel. And that I printed on tracing paper and that's an authentic piece of ledger. And then I added that snowy mesh netting and that's digitals from her shop. So I created this cute little button card with one of her digitals. I just love how that turned out. And this is, I believe, a Tim Holtz tissue. So really fun. You can make other wintry tags and stuff with it. That's an authentic stamp. And then inside are a bunch of labels from her. I think it's called Victorian Christmas is the kit, but that information will be below. So you could add a lot of different labels to things and make things um, if you wanna make it a little bit more Christmassy. So totally up to you. I love that idea of that freedom. And there is mulberry paper. And then I just pinned this tree there. I just thought it was cute there. And then there's a little bit of chenille and lace with that deer. So that totally folds out. So that's a wallpaper from one of her digitals. And then that's an authentic piece of paper. Um, I actually think it might have been from my grandfather, to be honest. So those are postcards from her kit. And then a paint swatch. And then there is a piece of my handmade paper back there. And this is this is a digital that's like folded over the page. So it's completely removable. I just didn't remove it. And here's an authentic letter to Mr. Carlton Bogart. And I hand stitched with gold metallic thread the sequins. And they're like an iridescent sequins. And they're just so pretty. Um, and that trim I got from England from a thrift shop. 
So this is a letter dated in December. It's three pages and it's a really nice paper, really durable. Um, I love the feel of it. Um, and it's sometimes hard to describe those textures. <laughs> you know, you really just have to like feel those, but it's a very thick letter, really. So, and this is the other side of all of those papers. And then we come to the second signature and that's one of her beautiful digitals again. So I made like a flip out tag here. And so there's lots of journaling space in here. That's an authentic piece of wallpaper and then a scrap from one of her digitals. Now that wallpaper is the same as what I put on the tag on the front. It's just, you know, I made it a smaller size. So really pretty. Added a little wooden snowflake there. And then here's the center of this signature. So I embossed this pocket and then I just added some different, you know, pieces back here of all authentic ephemera pieces from books and stuff. And then I created a stocking with her cute little stocking printable that she has. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I added the trim to the top for the cuff, but it's removable as well. And then this is not actually a wrapped present, but it's a calling card. So I'm kind of trying to show you the, the name and I just added some trim to it. That tiny little tag, is that not adorable? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And I dipped it in glass glitter. I just, oh my gosh, I just love it. And then the pockets created from an old piece of quilt as well. So this flips open and you can't see it very well and I should have zoomed in on it, but I stamped some, you know, big snowflakes on that. Um, you can see it in person and then the cute little tis the season tag. So on this side, I also flipped out a tag. There's some handmade paper there. You can punch out that snowflake if you really, really want to, but I really, I just liked it there. So this is a cute pocket full of goodies. You know I love my pockets and I love to add all the little different bits to it. So that to from I made from one of her digitals and then that floral piece of fabric is also stitched to one of her background papers. Um, and then just some handmade paper and I kind of went wild with the glass glitter and did those eyelets and I just love it. Or well, whole reinforcements. So there's the special delivery. And then I made this really cute tag here. So you see, I just minimized the pattern. And I just love how that turned out. It's so cute. You know me, I love to add like really just pretty things with shabby things. I That's just, it's my thing. I really love it. And that page is from an old Western Union telegram. So it is fragile. And I put my tape in there to just kind of, you know, reinforce it but also to give it just you know a really cool looking vibe so anyway <laughs> that's my handmade paper over a piece of fabric and so it's all attached there and you could you know unattach it if you wanted to and then I love this here's another calling card and I embossed it and then a Merry Christmas label from her kit and then here's just some fun little pieces and scraps you know that I used so that's um well, you know, you can see like those are her labels and some whole reinforcements and um, a paint swatch and then a scrap of, of paper from one of her digitals. I like to try to use the leftovers as much as possible. And then here is a cute little cupcake tree, the cupcake liners from, you know, Amity Bloom. Uh, everybody was making them and they're, they're just adorable. I'll try to remember to link that video again. <laughs> So I love that hat. So that's from my handmade paper and I added some fabric to the front of it. And then I made this cute tag. Um, that is from one of her digitals. And then there's wrapping paper, the snowflake patterns wrapping paper. But I made this tag from her digitals along with some embossed stuff. And then, you know, the button card on the back with a button. I think that's really cute. And then another paint swatch. and some Dolly Madison cakes, you know, receipts that, you know, you can journal on. So there's actually a lot of blank pages to like write on. And these are different scraps to use. And that's from like her doily kit. But again, I will I will write all those below. I just need to remember which all the kits I used, I used a lot. 
So that's an authentic piece of wallpaper and I added one of her angel labels too. And then I took a postcard from her kit and I folded it in half and just created like a little booklet. I really like how that turned out. So I just added some different, you know, pieces in there, used one of her labels. Um, they're all, you know, blank to add little things to. And then that's a button card from her. And I, you know, you can, you can use the back of it to write on. Um, and then it's just held in there with a brad. And then I made this cute button card. How cute is that snowman? Oh my goodness, I love him. And then here's a bag of goodies. So I took some of her labels and I basically made like a tear sheet. So you can tear those off and add them, you know, throughout the journal if you want to make it more Christmassy or highlight, you know, specific days or moments, memories, um, you know, or you can keep it more wintry. And that's from her kit too. And I use the pocket slot. I think it's called a pocket slot die or slotted pocket die, something like that. And I think it's from Tim Holtz by Sizzix or something. So just lots of little pieces, you know, handmade paper, uh, packing paper, you know, some glittered uh, cardstock. So just a lot of fun things, fun elements to, you know, make your own ephemera, you know, just to decorate it however you want to. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this and I will put all the information below and then this will be listed in my shop. So thank you 